I have to wait until the cat stops scratching her cat tree to talk. Thank you. Anyway, good morning, guys. Today is Friday, May 10th, and it's a very special day because Curtis and I are going to apply for our marriage license downtown. And he suggested that I continue to vlog this whole process because he thought it was actually really interesting to watch and it made him emotional. So I thought that would be a good idea, even if it's just something for us to look back on one day and you know laugh about or reminisce a little bit. But yeah, so I'm off work today and I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna go meet him downtown to apply for our marriage license. I am so excited and I feel so blessed to get to marry this man. And he also said that he would love to tell our story on YouTube one day. So you guys will get to meet him too one of these days. But last night we ordered our food. So we're doing all Italian. That's my favorite. And I know that most people love Italian food. So I'm not going to eat gluten free that day other than the cake. <laughs> we're just in the middle of planning and it's a lot guys. It's a lot, especially even if you're having just a micro wedding, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. A lot of time, a lot of energy, but it's gonna be so worth it. And it goes so fast, I feel like. I thought I would take you with me on the next you know, few adventures that we have. So today, and then I think the next thing I have is my dress, first dress fitting. That'll be fun, that's on Wednesday. And then my one friend decided she was gonna throw me a bachelorette party, so I really didn't want that. And I didn't want a wedding or a bachelorette party, but here we are, so. I'll film a little bit of that. We're not doing anything crazy. We're just gonna go on one of the sunset boat rides downtown. So that'll be a really nice, relaxing evening and just, you know, watch the sunset, be on the water, two of my favorite things. So it was a perfect idea. And at first I was like, no, I don't want a bachelorette party. And then she was like, she mentioned the boat and I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm in. So, and that's what we're doing. And that'll be in a couple of weeks, but yeah, I figured I would keep filming this little process here. So let's go downtown today. I'm thinking I'm gonna stop at this one espresso bar that I've never been to that I'd really like to try first because it's on my walk. It's called Concord Espresso Bar, but it looks really, really cute. I'm definitely just gonna use my phone because I don't wanna lug this heavy camera around even though I know like the quality is not as good. It's just so hard to, to film with a big camera in public, so. Okay, this cat is acting so goofy today, guys. <laughs> like she just needs to be center of attention, you know? <laughs> anyway, this is what I'm wearing. It's just a little, like a little jumpsuit, a little romper from TJ Maxx, it's so old. And then I'm wearing tennis shoes because I'm walking. I'm wearing these little socks. They say smile on them. I love these socks. I got them in a pack on Amazon and they all have different, they have little like hearts and flowers and just cute little things. These shoes are also from Amazon. And I'm also wearing my hair up with this little uh, flower clip. Anyway, hopefully you can see it. They just make your outfit like super feminine and cute. Anyway, let's go downtown guys. I'll take you with me.
here, I think this is the building. Just got back from getting our license, which was really awesome. It only took us 30 minutes and the lady was super sweet. And I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world right now. I just, I could not have asked for a better husband, a better man, a better partner, a better lover, a better friend. Like he's just such a special guy. So I am like over the moon today and just feeling really blessed. And um, anyway, I hope you guys really liked the footage I took. Um, I know it was on my phone, but so you can see the downtown area here. It's really, really, really a cute town and really historic and beautiful. And I just love it here. I really do. So today is Wednesday, May 15th. I'm losing track of time guys. I am so exhausted if I'm honest. So today I just worked a half day. It's about 1.15 right now. And I have to be at my dress fitting at two o'clock. So this is my first one. I actually got my dress at Lulu's online. It was only a hundred bucks. And it just goes to show like you can have a beautiful wedding. You don't have to spend a million dollars. I'm gonna do that today. Then I need to pay for the catering after which just so happens to be right next door, which is so convenient, thank God. I still need to order the flowers. We still need to pick our wedding song. We need to add more songs to our Spotify for whenever the singer's not singing, um, just to have music playing in the background. Finally got my engagement ring back in the mail, so I gotta get that this week. I got his wedding band, he's gotta try that on to make sure it fits. And I also need to go get some oyster shells because um, my wedding favor is gonna be an oyster shell magnet that I'm gonna make and paint and put everyone's initials on in. So that's gonna be kind of cute. Yeah, lots to do, um, but first things first, we gotta get this dress altered. I have not tried it on in a few months, a couple months. So I'm hoping that it still fits like it was supposed to. <laughs> It only took like 30 minutes, honestly, but I wanted to tell you that the lady who is altering my dress said that if she had to do her own wedding over again, she would get her dress from Lulu's. And she also confirmed that the dresses from Lulu's are just as nice as you would get at a bridal store. And she's like, sometimes I even like them better and the material is nice and everything and she alters all different types of dresses, obviously. So if you are getting married or if you know somebody that's getting married that doesn't wanna spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on a dress, definitely check out Lulu's. As I was driving home, it was super sunny. It looked so nice. I was like, okay, maybe I'll go to the beach. And then I got home and it's super cloudy. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll go to the pool. But then I looked at the radar and I was like, oh, I won't be doing anything. So yeah, so basically I don't get to go to the pool or the beach. <laughs> but that's okay. So I think I'm going to sit on the porch and finish the book I'm reading and just kind of try to relax. Like my eyes literally twitching. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my eye twitches when I'm overwhelmed or stressed out and um, I'm both and a little bit anxious today. I'm just gonna read and try to relax the rest of the night. It's probably gonna storm at some point, so I'll probably won't be out there for too long, but let me know if you guys have any recommendations for good books that are Christian friendly because I'm reading a Colleen Hoover book, which I used to read sometimes. And I just, there's so much sex in it and stuff that I just, it's hard for me to read stuff like that now that I'm a born again Christian. Like it just doesn't resonate anymore. <laughs> so I need like, are there Christian authors that write books? I don't know. Like get, let me know if you know, because I need book recommendations badly. And all of the books that are super popular and mainstream just aren't really 
in alignment with, you know, what I really want to read. Um, or if you have any other book recommendation, it doesn't have to necessarily be Christian authors or anything. I just, I just don't know what to read now. <laughs> But yeah, I'll probably bring the kitty cat outside. She loves going outside so much. So we'll go out and read together and I'll let her take a nap and listen to the bird. You ready to go out? <laughs> This is what we're working with for dinner tonight. A little bit of fat, a little bit of fiber, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of protein. This is jalapeno chicken stir fry. Chicken jalapenos, I added some zucchini just for some extra veggies and the sauce is so good. Random carrots and some avocado with uh, some lime and cilantro, and cilantro on top. Got our wedding rings in the mail today, which is so exciting and we just need to see if they're gonna fit. I got mine back. I love it. And now we get to see if our bands fit. I, I don't know if his is going to. I know mine will, but I don't know if his is going to. So we shall see. But I don't want to take the audio out. It's kind of cool. Mine fits good. It looks good. I hope it fits. <coughs> you like it? Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, I don't know if it's coming back off. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I have some self here. Is it really? Yeah. Is it too small? Uh-oh. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm gonna end this vlog here just because it's starting to get kind of long and I just wanna start fresh with a new one, but I'm currently about to go take my letter to vacate papers to my leasing office here at my apartment. I only had pink paper, which I hope is okay, but. <laughs> so I'm gonna go take that and um, it's kind of a weird bittersweet feeling, like a mix of emotions. I've been here for two years and this apartment is where I met Jesus or where he found me. So. It'll always have a special place in my heart and it definitely is a weird feeling like this is my last few weeks as a as a non-married woman and so it's just like I'm trying to, you know, enjoy my last moments, you know, just living by myself and um, being in my own space and, and really just looking forward to spending a lifetime with another person like I'm just I'm super excited about it so it's gonna be a lot of adjustment you know I've been on my own for like I mean over 10 years I, I haven't had a roommate or anything like that so it is definitely gonna be an adjustment but we're both super pumped about it and yeah so I'm gonna go take this and you know I will eventually get back to more Christian content I am um, I just really want to document this moment in time because it's so special to me and I want to be able to look back on it in the future so I hope you guys are enjoying it anyway um, but we'll see you in the next vlog